lead. What do we know about lead? Poisonous. Poisonous. <laughs> Filled up with liquid mercury. Oh. oh. Uh-huh. What do we know about mercury? For those of you who don't know about Quicksilver, it is more poisonous <laughs> than the lead. Yeah. <laughs> Shove that into the biggest vein in this woman's arm and inject all that liquid mercury in there to yank it out and then send her on her way. All because, all because she got a cold. Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Look this up. Now, obviously, that's not sitting right with you and obviously wouldn't sit right. <laughs> you was like she was shaking a little bit while I was on her arm, by the way. Um, but you heard about these devil worshiping slaves that reside at 506 Dumain Street, and y'all, that's where we are now. Now, when he walks in, he sees an African Creole man, a Native American man, and an African Creole woman over there in the corner. The French believed back then, the, not y'all, y'all, y'all cool. <laughs> but the French believed back then, whenever two or three, two or more people of color were in the same building, they were devil worshiping. They really believed. Oh, look this up. All this stuff, I want y'all to fact check me on this. Like, if it seems extreme, look it up. It, it's true. Now, as a devout Catholic, you know that you got to convert us back to the light of God. So he comes in, he sees all this stuff in here that's not inside the Bible. Like, look at this. This is herbs, uh, uh, candles with herbs in it and stuff like this. None of this is inside the Bible. This is black magic to him. So he comes to me and says, use your black magic for good and not evil. Go back to the light of God. Turn back to Jesus. No offense, because I know you're Jewish. But <laughs> <laughs> that's what they believe. You got to remember, I'm not Catholic. So, so you just like, and I'm just like, well, like, I can't argue with a Catholic because, I mean, I tried in real life before, and they don't, they, you can't, it's, it's not, you're not going to win. <laughs> you can't move a brick wall if you ain't got the strength to move it. So, I'm going to give him something just to make him feel better. I'm going to give him ginger, raisins, and mash of red beans, just like I said earlier. He's constipated, I figure. So, give him something to make sure I can soothe and loosen all it up. He calls it black magic because ginger, raisins, and mash of red beans is not inside the Bible. I call it food. <laughs> While he's eating it, I'm going to make a doll that looks just like him. And then if I have to take a piece of clay, I'm going to mold the clay to look like him to make it look like his face. So he has these gorgeous brown eyes, that pretty ass smile. So I'm going to take a needle and put all of it up in there. That handsome nose and just the whole shebang, this curly hair. Like, you are so handsome to me. I'm sorry. I'm having a moment on the tour. I know I'm working. But he, I mean, ladies, you may not see it, but I do. So, uh, Anyway, make this dog look as close to him as possible. And then I'm going to take a needle and I'll stick it right there in the stomach of the dog. After I have the dog, I'm going to put it right there on the shelf amongst all the other voodoo dogs I have of other people. There's a bunch of them of other people. And then he and I are going to barter for payment and then he's going to go home by his business. Now, next week you come in, you have a headache that won't go away. Pounding, pounding, pounding headache, right? Now, you come to me because I cured your stomach ache with my black magic that I use for good. So now apparently it's white magic. He comes in and is like, use your uh, black magic to cure my, my headache. And I'm like, black magic to cure a headache? What can I? I know. I'll give him dark chocolate, a natural painkiller, and a natural antidepressant. You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> serotonin. Chocolate makes your brain release serotonin. That's a happy one. He calls it black magic because y'all know chocolate not in the bottle, right? <laughs> I call it candy. <laughs> now, while he's eating it, find the doll on the shelf that looks like him. There it is. That's the one. I made it specifically look like him. Take a needle, put it in the head of the doll. But wait. There's a needle in the stomach. I worked on your stomach the last time you came to see me. Your stomach feeling better? Yeah. Remove the needle. He said, stomach feeling better. Put the doll back on the shelf amongst all the other dolls. You're not going to barter for payment. He's going to go home by his business. Now, next week you come in, you cut your arm by accident. He's bleeding, y'all. I got a handful of Spanish moss out of an oak tree. Josh got that peppermint growing back there in the backyard. We'll grab a handful of peppermint. Peel the rind off of the lemon. I'm going to take a mortar and pestle. That's mortar. Y'all know what a mortar is. Mm -hmm. yeah, right there. Put all this stuff inside the mortar and pestle, and then I'm gonna spit in it. I'm gonna grind it up, grind it up, grind it up, spit in it. Take some garlic, put it in there. Grind it up, grind it up, grind it up, spit in it. Grind it up, grind it up, grind it up till I have this paste. Once I have this paste, put it on the cut. Tear my shirt, wrap it around his arm, put some pressure on it. What does that do? Well, the pressure will stop the bleeding. We know that, that's obvious. Peppermint will soothe the pain. Spanish moss absorbs the blood. Your saliva is a natural anticoagulant. That's why your dogs hurt themselves and they always lick in the cut. But what about human saliva? Isn't that supposed to be dangerous? It is dangerous. Humans have a lot of bad, like, for instance, the bacteria that's in my mouth is not the same. How do you say it in English? It's, it's different. It's a different. So your, your human bite can be poisonous. So how do we combat that? Lemon peel and garlic. Two natural antivirus and natural antibacterial. He calls it black magic. I call it a band-aid. <laughs> All right. So while he's feeling with that, find the doll on the shelf that looks like him. There it is. That's his voodoo doll. Take a needle, put it right there in the 
left arm of the dog. But wait, there's a needle in the head. I worked on your head the last time you came to see me. Your head feeling better? No. His head is not feeling better. Leave the needle in the head of the dog. The chocolate didn't work. So this time I'm going to dab some lavender oil under his nose. Make him drink a full cup of chamomile tea and rub some peppermint oil right there on the temple. Right there. Mm -hmm. Rub it right there. What does that do? Lavender oil makes your brain release two hormones, serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin, a happy hormone. Melatonin, a sleepy hormone. Chamomile tea is scientifically proven to be a natural muscle relaxer. So I figure he must be stressed out. That's why he keep having the headache. So give him a natural stress reliever. And the chamomile actually work just as well as those horse tranquilizers y'all be getting from the hospital. Mm -hmm. The peppermint right there. Now something in peppermint that actually eases the tension right there if you ever have a headache. Also peppermint opens the sinuses. So to make all the stuff that he just did go through his system faster to give him faster relief. He calls it black magic. I call it aromatherapy. Mm -hmm. So leave the needle in the head of the dog because it's, he got a headache. Leave the needle in the arm of the dog. Put the dog back on the shelf. We bought him for payment. He's going to go home. Y'all see? The doll's a medical chart, y'all. Remember, we act slaves. We can't read her, right? <laughs> so we make dolls that look like our clientele and then put the needles in the spots when people ask us, hey, this hurts, this hurts. So keep track of what we actually work on. Yeah. That's it. Ain't no big finale for the voodoo dog. If you want to stab pins and dolls, you can go to England. Now, 